the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Yesterday, here in the UK, in a city called Plymouth, there was a mass shooting that took place. Five people have been killed including a three-year-old girl as well and thereafter the shooter killed himself as well. Police have confirmed that this is not a terrorist attack. Now I don't know about you but I don't see how this is relevant to the news that have taken place. Yeah. First of all our prayers and condolences go out to the families that are grieving at this moment in time but it's also worth mentioning that to cheapen their deaths as if to say oh it's not a terrorist attack don't worry what do you mean don't worry if someone's been killed they've been killed if somehow it being a terrorist attack made it worse I, I don't really see that to be honest yeah but let's look into this a bit deeper and let's see if uh, yeah some labels have been deliberately missed out Oh, that's <laughs> I'm sure you guys know the guy's name was Jack Davison yeah so he's a white individual and of course the headlines are going to be different yeah here let's look at CNN who says it's a rare shooting ho oh, ho rare shooting oh boy imagine if it was a Muslim or forget a Muslim even a colored person yeah would we ever imagine that the word rare being used never because it would change the narrative completely it would put it into context that this is not something that occurs regularly the BBC goes the BBC goes he's a licensed gun holder but hang on a minute guys he's killed a three-year-old little girl yeah but He's got the necessary paperwork for his gun, yeah? I think we should roll with that headline. What about, what about the little gun? Now forget the, now forget all that mate. Forget that this is the biggest shooting since 2010. Nah, 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 nah. He had a license. Make, make, make that clear. People need to know that this guy had a license, yeah? So don't think he was evading the paperwork. He was following the law. That's what he was doing. And another thing that was missed out was his theology. Yeah, he didn't mention the fact that he's a Christian, so that leaves him being an atheist. Will we hear the term atheist terrorism being used? Of course not. He shared posts that are pro-Trump on his Facebook page. Is he going to be called a right or far right terrorist? It doesn't seem like that at this moment. And number two, he complained about women being exploited by men yeah and he referred to this group called the incel movement yeah which targets women i'm sorry but isn't the definition of terrorism something to do with political or religious and this is a group yeah which is literally on the fringe because there's discussions taking place whether it's a terrorist group or not and whilst these discussions are taking place more and more killings are taking place the discussions are most likely going to be yeah but people dying mate and it's because of a, a, a group mate yeah it's an organized group now nah, but they're not brand you see and let's not forget he called his his life hopeless yeah like he's given up what's the point of living this is exactly what theists say to atheists yeah and this is the bigger side effect of atheism that you have no existence why get up in the morning what's the point of being good why no because it's the right thing to do what is right what is wrong according to liberalism when you're founding fathers like John Locke and with the social contract according to the social contract you've got laws of apostasy and all sorts of things as well yeah liberalism if you look at its foundation yeah with Immanuel Kant John Stuart Mill Voltaire Montesquieu you know you name all of these guys I mean under liberalism anything goes pretty much and under atheism whatever attack happens it's by chance mate survival of the fittest yeah that's what survival of the he had the gun you know what i'm saying it gets really messy yeah are we gonna see discussions happening on lbc and bbc about atheism and the harms it can cause we already have examples of hitler and stalin and the likes who are atheists and look at the damage they caused and that's excluding even materialism 
yeah, which has been used by capitalism to make us these consuming robots. That's all we're good for, mate. That's why you're never going to hear these sorts of uh, isms and schisms being challenged. Let's end with this point, yeah, because YouTube and Facebook took down his pages. Now, he didn't say anything that went against the community guidelines and YouTube goes, you know what, we don't want to give people like this platforms. What, what happened to freedom of speech now? Yeah, well, uh, well, hang on just a minute right here because he did not violate your community guidelines. So what is this? Anytime you want, you violate freedom of speech. Anytime you want, you keep it on board. What is this? <laughs> it's, it's a joke. But when it comes to Muslims, everyone's united. No, 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 no. We can cuss your prophet. We can do this. But when it comes to other things, nah, nah, we've got to look at the context. We've got to look at the context, you see. So guys, I just wanted to highlight some uh, hypocrisies that I noticed from this story. And uh, yeah, anytime we hear such stories, it's very important that we train ourselves and our dependents to think critically when it comes to the news and the headlines. And we are able to sift through all the propaganda. Alright guys, let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.